All right, Ryan, uh, here we are inside the uh, Worldview Space Capsule. Take me through a little bit of this, of what someone might expect if they uh, become a space tourist and, and use your company. Well, uh, thanks for being here. This is uh, an exact uh, uh, replica of our space capsule. We call it Explorer. Uh, what you see here is, uh, is, the, is the structure around customer experience. We've designed this to really optimize how a customer can experience viewing space. And so when a customer flies on Worldview, they're going to ascend to greater than 100,000 feet. They're going to be, be able to see the curvature of the Earth. They're going to be able to see the darkness of space, much like what you see uh, on the screens here. Uh, and what's more important is that they're going to be able to, to see an area that they just explored. The, the Worldview Space Tourism Solution starts with a spaceport. It starts with coming to one of our seven wonders of the world stratosph stratospheric editions, some places like Spaceport Grand Canyon, Spaceport Great Barrier Reef. Explore that area and then see it from above. Tell me, like, why you think it's important to make space travel accessible to more and more people. Well, Worldview exists to inspire, create, and explore new perspectives for a radically improved future. And so that really embodies the importance of space tourism. So when we say inspire new perspectives, it's all about creating opportunities for customers to understand the fragility of the Earth, to understand you know, the beauty of the Earth, um, and really to turn space tourism into ecotourism. For a radically improved future, I think embodies why we're all in space tourism. Uh, all companies are in space tourism. And that is that, that the more people we can deliver this experience to, uh, the higher number of people that will have a newfound respect for our planet. They will become, you know, uh, you know, Earth advocates and, and uh, embody the importance of taking care of our Earth. And, and so your solution is a low cost way. How do people get involved in this if they're interested? Yeah, so uh, our solution is a $50,000 ticket with a $500 deposit. Um, we offer available financing. All of, uh, all of that is available on worldview.space, uh, where customers can review the, the, uh, the, the experiences that are available to them through our seven spaceports around the world. Uh, they can look at uh, the technology and even do a preview of their flight at worldview.space. Okay, and Worldview is involved in more than just tourism. Tell me about the sensor part of this. And so, you know, the technology we have, you know, is applicable to a lot of different use cases. So space tourism is a really exciting one. But there's another really important use case, and that is remote sensing, the ability to provide insights into what's happening on our Earth. So we use our stratospheric balloons coupled with uh, different types of sensors to collect data, analyze that data, and deliver you know, insights uh, for customers. You know, this is applicable to oil and gas uh, uh, industries, uh, electric utility industries, uh, defense and intelligence customers, um, and uh, a number of different other uh, commercial use cases. And so by doing the, the, the work we do in remote sensing, it's just yet another way uh, to provide an, a new perspective, an inspired perspective that can contribute to a radically improved future for those customers as well. What kind of potential do you see now as, uh, you know, the, the world is getting more interested now with the billionaires have publicized it, right? And, and, and what lies out there potentially for investors? Well, one of the things that is, is really exciting is space is the next trillion dollar industry. Right? And there's a number of different companies, a number of different uh, um, types of applications that create value for investors. You know, so companies like ours that have both remote sensing and space tourism, there's companies now on the NASDAQ uh, uh, that uh, are space tourism businesses. And the number of different commercial uh, space companies that exist today that are public um, you know, is, is incredibly exciting and it's only going to grow in the future. And so, you know, uh, you know, looking at it as a trillion dollar economy, looking at it as the next big market, you know, I think is really exciting because there's a ton of growth in front of it. And do you have some companies in mind that, that you uh, admire in a way that you think might benefit? Well, you know, for, for, for me, I'm excited about, you know, any company that's operating in commercial space, you know. Yeah, and there's all kinds of different companies like Spire and Planet that are all about remote sensing that are now, you know, publicly traded companies. I'm excited about companies like Virgin Galactic who are, um, you know, in space tourism specifically and Virgin Orbit. You know, all of these companies, they, they represent the wide spectrum of different types of, 
of space companies and so uh, or space use cases and so you know I'm excited about all of them I think there's growth in front of, of, uh, of all of those companies and uh, I think space is a great place to invest awesome final question where's the restroom in this <laughs> behind you so, <laughs> so yeah you know, so you know the, the the space capsule itself. You know what you see here is the customer experience, but the capsule is designed to carry ten passengers or t eight passengers, two crew for a total of ten. It'll have a bar, it'll have uh, dining available, and of course it'll have a restroom. Great, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate You're welcome. It.